Just heard from Taylor Jenkins, who, as I mentioned, will most likely be getting a call from the league office and getting some uh, ducats deducted from his account. That's another story for another hello? day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, really didn't mean it. But they still had a chance to win the game. Right. That was the thing. Right. Even though, you, you, can, you know, they did get in foul trouble. Five guys, six guys had four-plus fouls and, and got to the free throw line. You still had a chance to win the game. That's the thing that you have to always look at because referees are always going to be scrutinized and the league's going to protect those referees. Oh, of course they are. We looked at the, at the free throw discrepancy. Minnesota went to the free throw line 40 times, knocked down 31 of them. On the other side, Memphis, 25 attempts at the free throw line, knocked down 19. So there was clearly a big difference, and, and you mentioned the different fouls called. Just from a, a, a perspective, You've played in a number of playoff games, and you've seen how things can shift sometimes when a coach goes and says some things to the media, and the next game things change. What do you think is going to happen in the next game? I think it depends on who the coach is and also who his personnel is, right? I mean, obviously, Carl Anthony Town was very aggressive. I think he shot 17 or 18 free throws a yes, night, he did. going to the line quite often. Let's see what happens next game. Maybe we see John Morant shoot 17 or 18 free throws uh, in the next game. But I do think that regardless of that, to, to, to his point, they had a great look at it. It didn't go in. They could have went to overtime. It didn't happen that way. They lost by a point. It's 2-2. You kind of there's there's so many plays that happen throughout the course of a game that dictate who wins and who who loses. Mm -hmm. They won the game. Tip your hat. Get ready for game five. Rick, you've been a player and a coach. So when you see Taylor Jenkins come, go to the bat essentially for his players and say, okay, this is not what I like, and the refs officiated the game horribly. Number one, from a player's perspective, how does that make you feel when your coach comes and says something? Well, that's the thing about your coach. Your coach is there to protect your players. Mm -hmm. And you love it. As a player, you go like, oh, he's in the corner with me, so let's go back and let's ball out. But sometimes when you're on the court, if you feel like you need to make a move, you take one. You take one and say, look, I need some calls from my team. What the, whatever. Take that technical and your players will say, well, coach down with me. He's down with us. We're about to get up. We